Good afternoon, fellow students of 2021. It's Louis here, and I'm going to talk about the paper that you did this year. 2021, paper 5, code 044-52. You've just done it now, about two or three weeks ago, and it's still fresh in your minds, and I've decided to give you the memo on this. Right, so let's look at section A. Section A, you know that there was two questions there whereof you had to do both of these questions. Both of them were compulsory. Okay, so let's look at the first question of that, those two questions in section A. A1, it's uh, saying here that a mobile phone is shown below, mobile phone, with a screen very clearly highlighted, and then it's got an on and off button there with a few measurements. We also see that there's an orthographic view given in third angle orthographic projection. Question. It says here complete the full size orthographic views of the mobile phone in the space provided to the right by drawing. Okay, so we've got to do the orthographic view, we've got to complete it by drawing a specific view over here. Right. It says here we've got to do a screen outline. Alright, so in that we have to put a screen outline here, which is this part here. That is the screen. Um, I think the tester here would be to see if you can position it at the correct place. Alright, by making use obviously of all your measurements. Alright, so let's start straight away with this question. I'm going to, use, I'm going to look at the measurements and just see and test whether this is 80 millimeters and yes it is 80 millimeters yeah you can clearly see it's 80 millimeters what I'm going to do is I'm going to position that right in the center here I'm going to try and draw a line right in the middle here so that I can work from the center line so I'm going to split basically the 80 millimeters to a 40 here I make a tick over there and I'm going to draw a line here 40 degree, 40, um, 40 millimeters, 40 millimeters space. Right, so from there, I would now work, um, I'm going to measure from, I'm looking at the, at the screen width, which is 70 millimeters, in this particular case, 70. So I'm going to measure 35 on the, in this direction and 35 in this direction. It leaves me those two points. I'm going to transfer a line over there and I'm going to draw a line over there through that those two points. Okay, so now at least I've got the width. Now what I want is I need to position it from the bottom, maybe up to get the bottom to get the bottom line, or I can go from the top. By the looks of it, it's not giving us a specific measurement over here. I'm going to have to do some calculation to get the top line. Whereas if I do it from the bottom, working out what this distance is here, um, it's going to be easier. Right, why? Because you can see here the distance from there to this line would be 5. That distance would be 5 because it's given us as 5. And this here is 10 millimeters since it's a 30 by 10. So that is 10 and that is 30 the length so it is a 10 year plus the two fives gives me 20 millimeters so I'm going to measure 20 millimeters from the bottom and I'm going to draw a line and when I draw lines I usually don't waste time I just go straight across so that I can draw my side view in the meantime and now I've got this bottom line of the screen there it sits I'm going to now measure 105 from this point here, 105 up. There's 100, 105. Okay, so I'm going to draw a line over there. Right. So Darken the line immediately while I'm there. I don't waste time. I immediately do my dark lines. And there you are. That's my screen. Done. And guys, 
a simple a rectangle like that is worth is worth two marks all right so i've got my two marks i would say half 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 and it gives me two the on and off button now i've got to position the off and on and off button it sits here at the bottom all right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to look at the measurements it's giving me a 25 here i can measure from the from the side here 25 or even easier since i've got this middle line here and i know that it's a 30 millimeters i can just measure off 15 either way of that line so we've got a 15 over there and a 15 over there i draw two vertical lines one over there and one over there right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see it's a far from the top and a far from the bottom. So I'm going to measure a far from the top and a far from the bottom. And there is mine. And since I've got that, I immediately draw a line across. I don't waste time. Draw a line across. Okay. I now draw these the in, in pieces and there's mine other line okay guys if your lines are too if these guidelines which is called construction lines if those lines are light enough you don't really have to rub it out okay because that's also going to take time and effort whereas um, you can actually use that time rather to carry on with the next question nevertheless that's also worth two marks the side view okay so now you've got the side view looking from here okay so basically looking from here this direction you would see that right all right so now to get the width over from the top view there's many methods to get that the first method is just simply um, just taking that measurement since you're standing over here you're just taking that measurement which is 10 millimeters in this case and you just anywhere here you can just do a point and let's just transfer all these lines over first so you can transfer that line across you can transfer this line across you can transfer this line across all right this line is a bit skew Okay, just want to take this one over. I don't think I'm going to need that anyway, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I take, I pick a point anywhere, as long as that millimeters, that's 10 millimeters, so I'm going to measure this as a 10 millimeters, because after all, that is the width here, it's giving me as a 10 millimeters, so I'm going to just measure the 10 millimeters and I'm going to immediately draw a vertical line down there and a vertical line down there and I'm going to close the top and bottom okay guys so you can see that is it it's as simple as that now there's obviously another method of doing my side view here and that's to do with your axes okay it's a little bit more complex to get that method but I'm going to show you in any way all right so between you can see here that um, the first thing you should do is you should actually just take the line across here. You take that line, acro line across, okay, and anywhere here, anywhere there, you take a line across or down vertically. You then, where those two lines meet, you can take a point, you can take that point down at an angle of 45 degrees okay and now you simply take this line across okay and down and guys this is how you line up if you want to be more accurate you line this up as, as like that right 
Just want to rub this out. It's a bit messy, but uh, for time's sake, I don't want to keep you too busy here, uh, too long. Okay, and there you are. That is your side view, guys. And that is also two marks. Okay, so um, just give me a like there if you, if you like this video and subscribe. Because, uh, as I said, there's still a few videos to follow. I'm going to do the following one. And I'm also going to do section B later on. Alright. Okay, guys. All the best. Cheers.